We often see the external features of a lot of amazing animals here on San Diego Zoo Kids, like mammals, reptiles, birds, and even fish. But today, we're going to take a closer look at some of the internal features of those creatures. More specifically, the teeth of a wombat, a Tasmanian devil, and a crocodilian. Let's start with the humble wombat, one of Australia's most iconic herbivores. These marsupials predominantly eat roots, grasses and vegetables, so their teeth are highly specialised to suit their diet. Check this out. They have a narrow bite with blunt flat molars designed to grind and break down plant matter. At the front you'll notice two sets of long robust incisors on the upper and lower jaw. These are shaped like chisels. They are the perfect shape for tearing off tough vegetation. And did you know that wombats have rootless teeth? meaning they grow continuously to compensate for the wear and tear caused by their diet. Most herbivorous marsupials like wombats, koalas and kangaroos have a similar dentition. But what about a carnivorous marsupial? This is a Tasmanian devil. As a carnivore, these guys only eat meat. And as you can imagine, sometimes meat can be difficult to tear through. Think about how you might use a knife and a fork to cut through a steak. Well, carnivores don't have the luxury of cutlery. They have to use their teeth. So their dentition is very different to herbivores. Take a look at those pointed canine teeth on the upper and lower jaw. The presence of canines are often an indicator that an animal preys on other animals. These specialised teeth not only assist in prey capture, they also help to bite into their prey's flesh. And check this out, just like wombats, Tasmanian devils have molars at the back of their jaw to help chew and break down each meal, so it's easier to swallow. So we've taken a look at a carnivorous marsupial, but what about a carnivorous reptile? Do you think they might have a similar dentition? If you said no, then you'd be right. Let's take a closer look at a crocodilian. While Tasmanian devils tear off bite-sized pieces of their meal, Crocodilians often eat their meal whole, so they don't require the assistance of molars for chewing. The first thing you may notice is that those teeth are all pretty much the same shape. There's actually a name for that. Animals with teeth like this are called homodonts, which is quite a different contrast to the mammals we looked at earlier, who had all different shaped teeth. They are called heterodonts. In a crocodilian's mouth, each tooth is long and pointed and specialises in puncturing a prey item and keeping it in place so the prey can't escape. They also have a very long upper and lower jaw to maximise their success rate when capturing and consuming prey. There are some obvious differences and subtle similarities between the three sets of teeth that we've shown you today. But there are so many more dentition configurations to explore. If you can think of some more animal teeth you'd like us to investigate, head to our Facebook page or our Instagram and let us know.